one happy micro jig maker of the gripper works safer work smarter With that board plane down about as thin as I can go, I'm gonna use my hole saw to drill a hole in this thicker piece. I'm gonna glue this all together like a sandwich, but in a special way. Since this grain all runs this direction, right here and here are weak spots. I could break that really easily. And I think to reinforce it, I'll put the two side pieces with the grain going the opposite direction that. To make it easier to cut out the final circle shape once it's all glued together, I'm going to draw it on one side, then I'll use that piece for the outside. Then I'll be able to cut outside of that circle without risking cutting into the hole. The setup for cutting these is so easy, you might as well make more than one while you're at it. For this second one, I decided to fill it with a chain and make it sort of like Moroccan. Woodworkers are always telling you you can never have enough clamps when clearly all you need is 20. <laughs> I never get tired of that joke and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep telling it over and over. I'm gonna fill another one with washers. I'm using eighth inch plywood for the sides of this one. I think the handles will stay in place better if they're attached on both sides. So I'm gonna drill a hole all the way through these before I cut out the circle shapes. I'm gonna orient it this way so that the hole goes through the long grain on this center piece rather than that end grain. My drill press doesn't go down far enough for it to go all the way through the other side so I can bring it down about here. I'll raise the table up. And drill the rest of the way through it. This one has the chain in it. I think it's going to be a little bit trickier to get that through. I'm going to try to drill the opposite hole by hand so I don't run into that chain. Well, I think that worked. I didn't really think that whole chain thing through all the way, did I? <laughs> and of course, that cutout circle is just slightly larger than that inner circle. I'm using my disc sander to try to make this circle look legit. I'm going to glue these dowels in with some epoxy. I've invented the lollipop. This is the one with the chain. Listen to it. <laughs> it's pretty loud, huh? I didn't, I didn't really plan that out very well. The chain doesn't have anywhere to move in there since I have the dowel going all the way through. Can you tell this is the last project of the year for me? These are store-bought wooden beads that I've tied onto those eyelets. So I got one really loud one. The baby rattle one that's pretty loud. And then the, the lamest one ever. Well, here it is at the end of the year, and this is my final Audible spot. I really want to thank Audible.com for supporting Woodworking for Mere Mortals, and mostly I want to thank all of you for going to Audible.com slash Woodworking and downloading a free audiobook. By using that link, it really helps out the show a lot. I was looking through this list of all the audiobooks that I've listened to this year. My absolute favorite audiobook of the year was How Music Works by David Byrne. I'm a huge fan of David Byrne. I think He's one of the most creative artists around. By the way, have you heard his collaborations he does with St. Vincent? Outstanding, look him up on YouTube. And of course, in some of the book, he describes his experiences in the early days of the punk rock new wave scene and CBGBs and the talking heads. But mostly the book is really literally about how music works. It describes kind of music theory, why we enjoy certain sounds we hear. And the book gets into kind of how the music business really works. There was not a single moment of that book that I didn't enjoy listening to. So that's my 
top pick of 2014. If you'd like to listen to How Music Works, you can download it for free by going to audible.com slash woodworking. You can pick out that book or any of over 150,000 audio books they have available. I hope you've enjoyed some of these Audible spots I've done throughout the year. It's a really good service and I'm just completely hooked on listening to audio books while I'm working in my shop. And I'm really looking forward to picking out some new books I can recommend for you next year. And here's what they look like and sound like, all painted. Why did I paint these? Because there's an old tradition in my country that states paint a project purple and you'll have good luck all year. Hey, wanna make some more noise? I've assembled a playlist of all of my other New Year's noise makers. Like this one. This one. The police whistle. Who could forget the wooden cowbell? But my favorite is absolutely the noisiest noise maker I've ever made. <laughs> Aww, I just broke my noisiest noise maker ever. Let's well, see the handle goes on there and then you can swing it and it's really loud. I wanna take a moment to thank all of you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals in 2014. I've had a lot of fun this year and I hope you've picked up a tip or two and maybe made some of my projects. I'll be back with an all new woodworking project on January 9th. And if you can't get enough Woodworking for Mere Mortals, be sure and check out my other channel, Mere Minutes. I'll be posting videos over there. And of course, join in on the fun over at formeremortals.net where you can post pictures of your own projects. I'd love to see what you're doing. Thanks everybody, <laughs> I need a break. I'll see you in a couple of weeks.